Hi, my name is Robert Rogash, and I've been doing these programs on Akaku, and I really want to thank Akaku for what they do, because this is the best thing that any society could have. But it's only this. The rest of society looks like crap. Sorry, and maybe that's wrong, but not very good. There was a lady that came up to me, and she said, Bob, you scare me. When you talk about sovereignty, you scare me. Well, I don't want to scare you about sovereignty. I want you to understand that the United States overthrew this country in 1839. And then the Congress of the United States said it was unlawful. It was the most heinous crime. The heinous crime in it was evil to overthrow a nation with nothing to, other than because the United States Navy wanted to have a port. And when we get down and look at the whole thing, what all it is is a military. And now we got Obama there, which wasn't born in the United States. He was born in the occupied territory of Hawaii. But man, they wanted to be president so he can go out to war. And I bet he's got the military behind him too, you know. It's not very good people in this country. They don't understand the Constitution. They don't understand the laws of nations. You know, the laws of nations was the first, it is the forefront of the laws of nation, of the United Nations. And the laws of nations had 25 members in it. Hawaii was number five. America was number 26, 76, or 64. It was way far away. So the charter members got overthrew by our military. The United Nations said that the state did not meet the burden of, self uh, of, of the statehood because it only offered state or territory and not sovereignty. The Article 72 of the United Nations said that it had to have sovereignty because it was taken by McKinley by executive order. You know, the Congress gives it back and then the president gives it back and then we got Obama in there. Man, Obama was not born in the United States. He was born in the occupied territory. He was born in 1962. In 1960, they said it wasn't a state. So Obama's standing up there in this big thing, running this thing, flying this floor, you know. Every time you have a president who doesn't come from that country, there's problems. There's big problems. Stalin was a problem. He didn't come from Russia. He came from Georgia. Obama's uh, going to be a real big problem. He's got this place so that they're going to sign to make him part of the Indian. This is the tribe of Joseph. These are Jews. This is the tribe of Joseph, and he's going to put them in, in with, a, with the Department of Interior. You know, it's just so sad to see him do that. But I just hope that he will see the light. And when the mission day comes around, when he intends to sign this thing, making that so that, well, basically, they want all the land. That way, Okra could come here and be the queen up on top of the mountain. But when, when the deed was showed to, the, to, the, her, to her lawyers, they didn't say nothing. They just close their mouth, and go around, because everything is a lie here. Every land transaction is a lie. It's a fraud, because the land had never been transferred from the provincial government. The provincial government never had transfers of the land. Then it went to the Republic of Hawaii, then to the Territory of Hawaii, and then to the state of Calif state of Hawaii. Hey, Bob, I'm sorry, we got stopped. Or territory not sovereignty. So therefore it was done. So this whole thing is, and then when I called up the, the Republican party, the Democratic parties and talked about it, oh, they said, oh, we, we can't do that. We can't do that. Why can't we do that? Because this is a military state. This is a United States Army and, the, and we kill everybody. Just remember the main. Remember the main? That was the Spanish-American War. That's why Hawaii got in, taken in here. It was the spoils of the war. But now we know that the there was no Spanish thing coming to take the, take the main down. It was our own crew. It blew up. But we used it for excuse, just like President Obama is using an excuse to go into another country and to make, you know, to make this country broke. Because the one thing that you have to do in a war is that you have to deliver the material at a rate, a cost that the people can pay. And we can't pay this. I hope China doesn't buy any bonds for war. I hope nobody buys for war. The only way this country is going to get out of war is not to be paid by other countries. We just got to get out of this war. And now that I've done that, I want to talk about Akai Nui. Because he has the deeds of the, these lands. And when Okra was buying Thompson Ranch, 
the deed was showed to, to their lawyer, not to her, because she don't have anything to do with anybody. She stays apart. But Okra elected Obama. We would have a different world if Okra hadn't been there shoving all the people in there and, I, and getting all the black people vote. You know, I'm not a racist. But I do know that what she did altered the course of history in the United States so that for the first time we have a president who isn't of the country. And she did it because she had the power to do it. Because I helped give her the power. Because I testified before the U.S. Senate hearing on, on, on uh, 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 right to work for black people or minorities. I testified that. I lost my job. As soon as I testified that, no, there's no blacks, there's no Mexicans, there's no Chinese, there's no, nothing in the operating engineers. Because it's a brotherhood, and they only keep the people in there who's in there. I said that, boom, I'm out of a job. And now look, at, look what's happened. We got a black president who is the worst thing that ever happened to any country or to any society because you, you lie. You're a Constitution lawyer. You're a Constitution lawyer. Article 1, it is the duty of every, nah, it's not the duty, it is the duty of every citizen to question whether, whether he's the right person. But I got sidetracked there because it, it's so angry because we're going to war. And you know, my grandkids are going to be at pretty few. And they're going to go to it too because you can't stop it. Bush started it. Obama's going to ruin it. The best thing for Obama to do is to step down. He doesn't have, he's not from a state. He's from a, a false state. As the United Nations, they already said it. But no, no, no. What can we steal? What can we get? Oh, we got a home up there for Oka. Yeah, she, she brought him in. You know, this is a really rotten group of people here in this country, in this society, in Hawaii. The Kanakamoles. They're, the, they're, the, they're all over the world. They're the refugees. Then you bring in all these new people, they take the place. Land that was, there was no such thing as ceded land, but this governor, man, she went and got ceded land. What's ceded land? That's just a made up word. Because everything in America is made up. There is nothing real in America except that we like to fight and kill. We like to kill. We will find any reason to go to a nation, bomb them, kill them. And don't forget, Japan was really at the end of the thing. We dropped two bombs on them. You know why? Because we called them Japs. Because we didn't like them as a society. The same reason they didn't like Jews as a society. And this society here is a Jew. No, we put them in the middle of a desert where they could not defend themselves in the proper way that God would have them because they are of God, they're not of man. The man in us, in America, has lost their way and gone somewhere where I don't know, it's just gonna go up in a, you know, wherever it goes, I don't know, but I sure hope my children, my grandchildren could live through it, because what I see right now, this thing is just gonna keep going on and on and on until there's nothing left. What is for? so that people can have stuff that doesn't belong to them. They can come here and buy a house. They can buy a lot. They can buy a building. They can make money on it. You know, this is a very, very, I don't know. I, I, I just get so sad. I get so sad because I'm an American. And I was brought up that America never acted this way. But when I came to Hawaii, I found out the, that there is very little difference between this and any other fascist government, that we are probably the biggest fascist government of them all. I know, I know we killed, well, they say maybe 10 or 20, 60, but I think 20 million people just for us to live here. Then we brought in all the other people to take their place. That's what they're doing here. They're bringing in people, bringing in people, bringing in people. It's not your state. And President Obama, I hope somebody will take and show you the way to resign because you need to. You're an arrogant liar. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you, Akaku.